Even more poignantly, he was remembered before his old club Leeds match at Chelsea. Billy Bremner, who died at the age of just 54. Well, to Celtic Park and Scotland's match of the day, which attracted a crowd of just over 50,000. Hearts of a miserable record in Glasgow's East End, just three wins in their last 46 visits. Today, however, the league leaders travelled with the confidence which comes from topping the Premier table. There was a momentary scare a couple of hours before kick-off when a fire alarm led to the evacuation of the stadium. But happily, the all-clear was given by the time a relaxed and smiling Vim Janssen led his players back into the ground. Hearts, on the other hand, had that purposeful look you would expect of a team determined to leave Celtic Park this time with a victory. The commentator is Rob McLean. The Celtic fans will have to wait to see new £2 million man Harold Bratback in action. He'll sit on the bench to start with, and alongside him is Darren Jackson, who made his first top team start since August in the 2-0 defeat of Aberdeen in midweek. But Vim Janssen keeps the changes to a minimum as Celtic try to boost their title challenge. Andy Tom couldn't even find a place in the squad. Taking Jackson's number nine jersey is Morton Vikors, who's back after suspension. He's been on top form and was man of the match in Celtic's Coca-Cola Cup final win. There's just one change in this Hearts team from the 11 who started Tuesday's goalless draw at Tannadice. A shin injury keeps out club captain Gary Locke and his place goes to Alan McManus. Other than that, it's a settled side with the form of Frenchman Stefan Adam and Austrian Thomas Flugel keeping Jim Hamilton on the bench and John Robertson out of the squad. One of the key players in Hearts' storming start to the season has been Steve Fulton. Back at Celtic Park, where he learned his trade, he's in with an outside chance of a place in Scotland's World Cup squad. The referee in his tenth and final season as a grade one official is Bobby Tate. A match of great importance, this. Hearts have only lost one match in the last 12 and that was against Celtic at Tynecastle. that was eight weeks ago quickly into the tackle on Reggie Blinker was Alan McManus tenacious play from Salvatore he held off Morton Vikorst and gave the ball straight to Stefan Mahe now Blinker Gets it back from Paul Lambert. Celtic opening up with the familiar back four. Roy Reaper, Stubbs and Mahe. And here's Blinker trying to work himself into a crossing position. Blocked by McManus. Good play that from Vikos and he was fouled by Salvatore. An early free kick to Celtic. Reggie Blinker having a look, Stubbs and Reaper in the middle. Got some climbing at the far post by Mark Reaper. And the free kick goes Hart's way. Frantic opening to the game, good pass from Burley, finds Blinker. Vikorst is ahead of him, and that's Larson's touch, linking again with Burley. It's good play this from Craig Burley. In from McNamara and Blinker! A good chance that was at the far post, Reggie Blinker is annoyed that he didn't force Jim Rossi into a save with this effort. But it was well charged down by McManus. Now Flugel. Steve Fulton having a look. Now Celtic countering with Blinker. Henrik Larson, he's away from David Weir. Pass was aimed for Blinker. It was cut out, corner kick. Good play that though by Henrik Larsson. He really deceived David Weir here with a flick of the ball and a turn of pace. And he was in yards of space. Cut out by McManus. McCann finds point and then gets it back. Good tackle by Tom Boyd, quickly in. McCann dispossessed by Paul Lambert. 
a good one this from Jackie McNamara. The run from Craig Burley. What a chance this is for Blinker! Saved by Rousset. And Morton Vicos trying to keep the pressure on. Away from Ritchie. And calm play from Hearts. Jackie McNamara has switched sides. Reggie Blinkers in the middle. Here's Vikost and Paul Lambert. It's a good ball for Larson. Henrik Larson should have opened the scoring there. A gem of a pass from Paul Lambert, and he knows that that should have been goal number 15 for him. Perfect pace on the pass, and a miscue from Larson. And we haven't said that too often this season. So a couple of quick-fire chances for Celtic to take the lead. Lovely build-up here involving McNamara, then Burley. He quickly shifted it on to Blinker. Saved by Rousset. Celtic preparing to make a substitution. Enrico Anoni will come on. Substitution for Celtic. Wim Janssen doing his best to attract the attention of oh, Bobby Tate. Mark Reaper clearly is injured. And it's an early switch for Celtic with just 24 minutes gone. Neil McCann unable to get himself away from Stefan Mahe. He goes to Burley. Tom Boyd with Paul Lambert outside. No need to stubs. Enrico Noni hasn't seen too much first team action this season, although he has played in an old firm match and in Celtic Liverpool. David Weir rushed into that clearance and straight to Paul Lambert. Well struck. Worth an effort. It was juggled by Gilles Rousset. Paul Lambert still looking for his first Celtic goal. This was powerfully struck. No foul. Thomas Fogel went down in the challenge with Anoni. Now Celtic with McNamara. He's away from Ritchie. Ritchie Blinker again. What can he do here? Again it's blocked by McManus. And again Blinker looking none too confident in possession. McNamara unable to get the cross into the area. Here's Vikost. Mahi outside. This time a better ball. It was Henrik Larsson's header in the way of his Neil Poynton. A corner kick. Celtic looking for the goal at the end of a first half in which they've held the upper hand. Wim Janssen screaming instructions. Mahe away from Flodo. Good pace. Good ball in for Larson. He stretched for it. He couldn't quite stretch far enough. Otherwise, that might well have been the breakthrough. Tremendous ball, this from Mahi. It was a good run. Burst of pace. Good ball in. And Larson launched himself at it. Reverse pass from Colin Cameron. Here's Neil McCart, trying to find a way in behind Alan Stubbs, it was good defending. And Neil McCart is still grounded. Lambert to Blinker. Inside then outside. Here's Henrik Larsson. Back from McNamara. Jules Rousset didn't know too much about it. Somehow manages to scramble it over the top. And this could so easily have been the opener. Henrik Larson couldn't get the shot in, but he did touch it back for McNamara. Came off Rousset. Into Bridget Blinker. And this time comfortably held.
Reggie Blinker available. He crossed in front of it. Vic Burley alongside. What if he crossed made a good run? Good goalkeeping by Shu Rose. He did enough. Got his fingertips to it. Although the last touch must have come off Vikost because goal kick is the decision. A good pass from Blinker. Seeing the Vikost one. Well, this was good, speedy goalkeeping. 45 minutes have gone. That's the half time whistle. And Hearts will feel very fortunate that it's a goalless scoreline so far. A couple of chances for Henrik Larsson including a spectacular diving header effort. A couple of chances, too, for Reggie Blinker. Craig Burley might have scored as well. Lots of Celtic pressure, but for them so far, no goals. Half-time at Celtic Park. Celtic nil, Hearts nil. Hearts restarts. We haven't really seen them as an attacking threat at all in this game. Jonathan Gold hasn't had a save to make. That will be worrying to Jim Jeffries. Words will have been said because at the other end, Celtic have been creating chance after chance, but they unable to take them. This a match they feel they must win to close the gap at the top. Paul Lambert, the outstanding player of the first half, that came off Neil Poynton. Celtic throw. Stubbs pass straight to McManus. Morton Vicos making the interception there. He's away from Salvatore. The pass aimed for Henrik Larsson. A bit too much on it. Flicked on by Craig Burley. Paul Ritchie clambering over Henrik Larsson to win the header. Lambert to McNamara. Neil Poynton forcing him inside. Here's Tom Boyd. Neil McCann's in front of him. It's a good ball in. Found the head of Henrik Larsson. Couldn't quite direct the header towards Gilles Rousset. Well delivered ball this from Boyd. Larsson with the attempt. The rain. Absolutely pouring down on Celtic Park and the pitch getting more and more skiddy as the match goes on. McManus to Adam, squeezing that ball in. Enrico Anoni conceding a corner kick. Jonathan Gould could easily have collected that one in behind him. It's Hart's first corner kick of the match. And the header at the near post was from Flugel. It was a good run, it was well timed. Found by the Fulton corner kick. But the header flashed over. Noni almost waiting too long, that's good play from Blinker. He's away from McManus. Salvatore is backtracking. But the pass in for Burley and successful. Good play from Lambert. Another of the game's better players, Jackie McNamara. Away from Poynton. The reverse pass in for Vikhorst. It's won back by Lambert. Good skill. Working it on to Tom Boyd. That's for Henrik Larsson. So close to the opener. But he will feel he should have put that on target. He had time to eye up the cross from Boyd. But his angle slightly out. That's the end of the match for Reggie Blinker. And it's not been one of his better days. The applause is for Harold Brattback. And what a welcome he's getting to Celtic Park. Huge expectations about what he will bring to the side. A phenomenal goal scoring record. 127 goals in 148 games for Rosenberg. Paul Lambert again, pulling the ball down, making passes. And Morton Vikost is away from Salvatore. 
Trying to get in behind Alan McManus. Couldn't quite manage it. McManus knocking the ball behind for a corner kick. Right back, taking up position in the area. In from Henrik Larsson. Away from David Weir. That was won by Lambert. McNamara, now Enrico Anoni. Room for Alan Stubbs. It's brought back with the scissor kick attempt. Celtic Park would have exploded at that one. In. McNamara. Struggling to keep possession. Anoni. Good ball, cleared by Weir. Adams back heel, falling for Mai. Quickly on to Larson. Craig Burley getting up in support. Here's Henrik Larson. He really caught that one. But off target. Good shot, this. He's winding up for the shot. Alan Stubbs is in the way. And it's a good pass too for Jackie McNamara. That kick starts a Celtic attack. Larson and Black back. And in the middle. It doesn't look as if he's going to get that far. Given away by Steve Fulton. Tom Boyd. It's brought back. Saved by Russi. Hart's giving the ball away in a dangerous area. And that's the Norwegians' first attempt on goal. Again, the play coming through Alan Stubbs, looking for opportunities to play it short. The long ball for Larson. Manus will have to be aware. Brock, Brock not giving him any peace, and he's won it back. Henry Larson wants a cut back here. Misses out. And Steve Fulton has a free kick. A disappointing cutback that because Henrik Larsson was in a great position. He certainly did well to win the ball. But here he had time to size this up and look where Henrik Larsson was. Vim Janssen Celtic have made enough chances today, but unable so far to keep one single one away. It's a miscue from Alan Stubbs. Thomas Flugel's in behind him. This could be very interesting for Hearts. What a tackle that was, though, by Alan Stubbs. Superb defending. He was caught out, but there was no panic, and he got back to make a vital challenge. One by Barley. A lot of urgency now about Celtic. Henrik Larsson. Harold Blackback makes a run. Good covering by Alan McManus, although it almost ricocheted in off Blackback. McManus made the tackle, but as he cleared it, it came off Blackback, and Rusi had to save. Larson against McManus. Away from David Weir again. The quality of the final ball not good enough. Hearts preparing to make a change. Steve Frail. Larson using his shoulder to hold off Alan McManus. That's a good ball in. Chance for Burley. That's the breakthrough for Celtic. 11 minutes left. And that is a vital goal. Craig Burley's seventh goal of the season. And this could have a huge impact on Celtic's title challenge. Superb play from Larson. Great ball in, over the top of Poynton's head, drilled home by Burley. Superb finishing this. Celtic have spilled so many chances, but not that one. The Celtic fans haven't had too much to shout about in this match. Chances going a begging. But finally, they can celebrate. Break 
Pass back for Fulton. Another chance for Freel. Not a damaging ball in. Time for Vikorst to launch that back into the heart half. That looked like a foul on Freil. The innocent face of Enrico Anoni, but the free kick spotted. And Anoni quickly in on Freil. Good turn from Neil McCann. Paul Cameron making a run for him. McCann with the shot. It's off target. On the right foot. He fashioned the opening himself with an exhilarating run. Well away. Steve Fulton will want to put this back where it came from. Paul Ritchie's up. It breaks for Colin Cameron. And I think Colin Cameron didn't realise that he'd more time there. There was a chance to control that ball and have a shot at goal. Instead, he rushed into it and it was way too high. Flipped on by Jackson. And Hearts just want this launched down towards the other end. Looked as if Jim Hamilton was pushed there by Burley. No free kick given. Jackie McNamara flicks it on. Paul Lambert will do well to catch this. He does. But that's full time. Paul Lambert celebrates as the all Celtic players and their supporters. This could prove to be a vital victory. Hearts went into the match as Premier leaders, five points ahead of Celtic. Celtic knew it was important. And there's the man who scored the vital goal with just 11 minutes left. Rick Burley found by Henrik Larsson's pass. Drilled the shot past Russe and a winning start to his Celtic career for Harold Brackback. A compulsive 90 minutes at Celtic Park. And it's these Celtic fans who are heading home happy. The final score, Celtic 1, Hearts 0. Craig, when you look back at the end of the season, that could prove to be a very important goal. Oh, I hope so, Rob. Uh, no, we needed that today. Had a good result at Aberdeen in the week. Disappointing one at Command that last weekend when you were there yourselves and saw it. So it was important for us to put in a good performance today. I thought we did that in patches, created a lot of chances and managed to get one in the end. A lot of chances not taken. Yeah, I mean, that's been our problem for a while now and that's obviously why we've brought in another striker. But I think we've got quality strikers here who can all score goals. It's just going against a little bit. Sometimes keeper makes a good save and sometimes they go wide. But uh, I think the positive thing is we are creating the chances and uh, I think today we could have three or four. Harold, how did you enjoy your first taste of Scottish football? Well, it's undescribable because, uh, because the crowd was enormous. Tremendous crowd and uh, the reception I got was, well, well I can't, can't say anything about it. It was enormous and if the crowd is... It's good every time I will uh, look forward to it, certainly. There's obviously a lot of expectation on your shoulders in terms of supplying the cutting edge for Celtic. Yes, there are, but uh, today Craig did it, and uh, if we can create uh, chances all the time, uh, a lot of players will be doing the cutting edge for uh, Celtic, but uh, hopefully I can also score goals.